Hey everybody, Justin Givens here, and I wanted to bring this great little tip on how to help you qualify somebody specifically after they fill out like a contact us form. So like most people, you want to redirect them or you want to put a like a thank you message, those kind of things. I always like doing a redirect page to a thank you page specifically because then you can record any type of third party like ad conversion metrics and those kind of things on those pages. But you could drop in a CTA or a call to action on that page that has, if the person meets the qualifications and you put them in a right list, you could put up a meeting link instead of saying, cool, someone reach out to you soon or shortly. Hey, we're going to check to see if you're qualified. This is a great way to get the person to do the action right after they fill out the form. So let's set this up with, let's say you have a budget request or a, um, amount like you have a qualifying question budget whatever you have but when you set up that qualifying question on the form you could put them into an active list so what does that look like so you can see here i'm in my demo account if i click on here list in that same sense i'm going to create an active list so like qualified lead oh i spelled that wrong qualified lead we're going to call it an active list. I'm going to go ahead and say next. And what we want to do is let's say let's use state. Oop, I need a contact property. And let's do the state region, right, equals a value of, say, Tennessee or AL. Tennessee or Alabama, right? Um, in that same sense, I might have another qualifier. And let's see if I have a contact property here called budget, maybe. Let's say annual revenue. That's on... Um, that is on my contact form or maybe your landing page, and we want to say it's equal to, and you have a drop-down list of, say, say 500,000, right? Just playing around here, just showing you how you could use this. In that same sense, we're going to say save list. So now we've got this qualifying leads. What you want to do is, so like you might have all these meeting links, and based on the value, so you could have multiple active lists, so like qualifying list leads, uh, 500,000, 250, and you want to put them in different people's queues, so you could get their calendar link, like here, Lindsay's, or getting Savannah's calendar link, putting that in the call to action. So with that, let's go to the marketing, let's go to the lead capture, and let's go to CTAs. With that, we're going to create a new CTA, and we're not going to call it a link we're just going to say say awesome check out this great resource all right so what we're going to do for everybody that doesn't fall into the qualified lead list check out this article or this blog post that you have that you want to drive people to that are unqualified so putting them to like hey check out budgeting settings or how to get finance options those kind of things so i'm just going to leave it as a plain text no additional advanced options hit next and I'm going to say it's going to be a HubSpot page, and I'm just going to click an example one. With that said, open up a new page. You can do that or not, and then what campaign do you want to assign it to? I'm just going to pick one of mine that I have in my demo account. With that, perfect. This is where we want to create a smart version. All right, and we want to do a list membership. In that same list, we're going to look up qualified leads. Boom, next. Now we're going to switch this design around to say like, boom, awesome. Let's schedule some, ooh, some time in that sense, you know, style it. Let's do primary. Let's get it bold here, folks. Um, let's make it a call to action. Red does good. In that same sense, I want to use a meeting link. Um, and then I'm going to set my meeting link option there for the phone call. Same campaign. Now, enter qualified leads meeting link. So I like the name stuff to make sure it's good. Boom. So now you can see the default is that. Go check out this great resource. Or if they're a qualified lead, let them schedule some time right then and now. Then you can still do your email follow-up like with you, you typically do with a form submission or anything like that. But now that person is in a qualified list and you can also send different messaging based on the form submission too to help qualify to get them to close. That is a great way to use a CTA on a thank you page to get the user to ultimately do the action you want them to do, which is booking a time, but only booking qualified lead.
time. There you go. Hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, just post them in the comments.